thing, San Diego Comic Con at home. We got a very special booth tour of the Tomashi Nation's Tokyo San Diego Comic Con at home booth that they set up in Akihabara. Uh, but first, just wanted to go over a couple things. You know, wanted to go over the exclusives. And we took some of them out of the box because they're just too cool to keep in the box. So as you can see, if you've watched our earlier streams, we've unboxed the Figure Art Zeros. We got Brawley. We got Vegito. They're unboxed with all of their glory. Brawley is... Uh, he is, he's a beast. He's a mighty beast, and <laughs> it's it's just great to see in these figure art zeros just the level of articulation, not articulation, level of detail, the sculpt. You know, for someone like me who's okay at posing, um, you know, it's great to see. You, know, you can put this right on your shelf and be done, and just it really, really encapsulates the size difference, as you can see him next to poor Vegito. Uh, we know size is not everything, but uh, in this in this case, uh, Brawley is quite the piece. Uh, we also have the monster arts for Godzilla. You know, the event exclusive color. Love the blue. It's so great. You know, uh, it's got this real nice color striation with the, uh, the the fins in the back to where it looks like he's like powering up. It's you know kind of opaque and it's got some white into it. So just the coloration it is just it's just great. It's not one solid piece of blue. Um, there is a nice level of detail in it. Uh, comes with a inter interchangeable jaw where you can actually shoot his atomic breath either up or straight, however you want it. We're not here to tell you how to shoot your atomic breath. You do what you want to do with your atomic breath. Uh, of course, we have the figure arts. You know, we have Goku. We have Android 17, Android 18. All of the Tomash exclusives were going extremely quick, so make sure that you go to bluefinbrands.com slash SDCC for links to them, or you can go to premiumbind.us directly uh, just to purchase these. Uh, and while you're there, there's a ton of other amazing Dragon Ball uh, stuff on Premium Bandai, the Zamasu and the Vegito uh, SH figure arts. Those end April, August 3rd, so make sure you get to Premium Bandai US, you order them, because once they're gone, they're not going to remake them, and you'll have to, you know, be stuck to paying those extra prices. The other places we don't want to talk about, but definitely go to Premium Bandai USA. In the middle here, we got Optimus Prime. We got the clear model kit of Optimus Prime. Comes in this nice collectible tin. You pop the top off. This Autobot Matrix of Leadership is translucent. You can see through it. It is a ton of fun. Uh, Mr. Clark, who's usually on the streams with us, you know, he's the brand manager for Flame. He built this, and he said it's one of his most favorite kits he built. This and the Gen 1 Optimus, where the chest opens up. Uh, and he just loves it. Same thing, bluefinbrands.com slash SDCC. Uh, if you want to just encapsulate all this, you just follow us on at bluefinbrands on all the social platforms, probably where you're watching it right now. You know, you'll uh, you'll be able to uh, to see links for that. Uh, moving over, finally, last but certainly not least, we have a pair of Bandai America exclusives. You know, we have the Brawly Dragon Stars. He was a, he was a build a figure for a certain wave of Dragon Stars. You, you buy a figure, you get like an arm and a leg. This is the first time he's being offered is a complete figure in his own box. Uh, and it's a lot of fun, as you can see. He's a, he's he's a thick boy. He, uh, you know, he just wants to burst out of this box here. Uh, and then last is the Dragon uh, Dragon Ball Cell per Perfect Cell versus Goku Final Battle uh, two pack. Uh, it's great. You know, it's it's it, you can recreate the climactic battle of Goku and Final Cell right before Gohan steps in. It's like Dad, forget it. You uh, you weak sauce. <laughs> I got this, Dad. I got this. Let me one arm Kamehameha in the death. Spoiler alert for 1994. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so those are the exclusives. You can go to bluefinbrands.com slash SDCC or San Diego Comic Con. And you can find everything here and so much more. Uh, Justin, why don't you take us through what they would find if they went to bluefinbrands.com slash yeah, SDCC? Let's do this. I might need your help. And I'll laugh at you. Right. I uh -huh. might need your help making this big, though. Hold on one I second. Know. Like if I like think with my mind, like make it big. There we oh, go. There you go. It's big. All like right. You made a wish. It is our time. I know, right? So here you can see all the exclusives right here. The the flame exclusives, Bandai America exclusives. Click right here, shop for our exclusives, and then you can click on this uh, Tamashi banner right here, and this will take you right to the Tamashi Nations page where we can have um, an up close and personal look at what would be a Tomashi Nations booth. And it's a it's a complete virtual tour. It's a lot of fun. There's Godzilla right there on the top. If at any time you want to purchase any of these exclusives, they are I think actually... you went to another tab, Justin. What? I still see Bluefin's page. Do you really? Yep. Well, that's no good. <laughs> well, please. Okay. Use our imaginations. Yeah. Which is well, good. We please. Got... Ours are pretty, pretty vivid imaginations, as you can imagine. You can there imagine we go. Our imaginations. Because it opened awesome. up a new tab. All right, so you see it now, right? Yeah, I do see it. It looks great. Is it full screen? Full screen. All right. So, 
Once you click on the Tamashi banner, it takes you right here to the Comic-Con at Home Tamashi Nation's booth. Uh, here you can actually have a virtual tour, and it is amazing. And in the event that you want to purchase the exclusives, you can click on event exclusives, or you can scroll down, and uh, they're all right here where you can get additional product detail information. There's Godzilla and all of his blue glory. It is amazing, but we're going to go ahead and do the virtual booth. And then we'll disable the music just for the sake of this. So and you can then... still hear us. Can you see what's happening? Absolutely. Just zoomed in. It was like I went through like a... We just took a portal from wherever you are, and then we are now in Akihabara, Japan. Uh, we're on the second floor of the Tamashi Nation store in Tokyo. It's a... I've been there once. It was an incredible store, but they've transformed it into uh, the San Diego Comic Con booth. Okay. So yeah, so we are currently... We've just come up the stairs, I believe. Perfect. So you see these little square or these little circles on the ground? We can actually Absolutely. click. We can click on the circles, and from here, we're able to look around and see what's going on. You'll see little. It's almost like when you're at. If you ever went to like a museum where they they have all these fun interactive features, you can click on any one of these circles, and they'll give you more information. Um, it highlights all the different characters that are available, and it's actually really really neat. So we can just kind of scoot on through. We'll start back at the beginning so we don't miss anything. You move pretty quick in here, so hopefully oh. you don't get dizzy and sick. And the best part is there's no, uh, it's not elbow to elbow with people. This is like the best right. Comic Con booth I've ever been to. <laughs> right, you can take, you can zoom in and look at all the different characters. Um, we can go like this, we'll do a circle here. Nice. Yeah, it's actually pretty neat. It's inverted with your mouse though, so you'll, it'll take some getting used to. Your, your right is left, your left is right, your up is down, and your down <laughs> is up. So I apologize if I make you throw up all over your computer. That sure, is... yeah. So yeah, it looks like this is the, the Bandai America section. Yeah, it's yes. got those Dragon Stars and the Final Blast that we're talking about for the exclusives. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's got some of the other figures up there. Uh, so yeah, yeah so they're, that, that, they're hard to get. Uh, let's see here if it'll let me. Some let you get tall and you can see higher, but this one does. This is the one section that doesn't allow you to get taller. But um, in the event that you were to click... You know, it says for more information. When you click there, it takes you right to a site to where you can either purchase them or get more product information on them, which is pretty neat. Same with like the Ichiban, that'll actually take you to Blue Pin Brands where you can buy the Ichiban figures. Nice, yeah. And uh, just for everyone's edification, Ichiban are, uh, you know, they're kind of uh, uh, statues, you know, they're fixed statues, but uh, they have uh, super detail. You know, they're, they're not quite uh, figure at zero, but uh, they're, they're a lower price point uh, and they're just great to, to fill yourselves with. All right, moving on down. Let's see what's over here. All those figure arts. So many figure arts. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's a cool diorama from the Brawley movie. You got Brawley. You got your Gogeta and Frieza over there. This one lets us go up high, I think. Whoop. Yeah. We just jumped. Oh. Everybody's favorite Majin Buu. Oh, no, 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 go fight. on and sell. <laughs> One of my favorite figure arts ever made is Mr. Satan. I think he looks like he looks like they just pulled him straight out of the cartoon. I think he looks fantastic. Yeah, the eye popping out is so yeah. good. Such great detail. Got some final battle action over here. With yeah. Jiren and Ultra Instinct Goku. Yeah, Jiren comes out in a couple months, the final final battle version of Jiren. Um, and yeah, it's uh, he, he fits perfectly with the uh, the new Goku, the Goku. that came out recently. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's okay. Yeah. Japan, they drive on the left side of the road, Justin. Right. So you're just not used to it. <laughs> Steven Perez called the uh, the Godzilla the Jolly Rancher Godzilla. Yeah, that's the first oh, I like that we, one. We, we've heard a lot of names, you know, uh, Gatorade or Slurpee, but uh, Jolly Rancher, that's a, that's a pretty cool uh, description. This guy was one of the, the bells of the ball at the uh, Toy Fair with the Great 8 Vegeta. And... I think we were supposed to get him in July, with uh, but but COVID slowed things down just a tick. Yeah, I'm excited to see just that giant figure. You know, it comes with the detachable tail. Uh, it comes with uh, Mr. Jairobi who cuts it off and stuff like that. Uh, it actually even comes with a small little Goku that you can just choke the life out of. If you ever dreamed of just choking the life out of Goku, for, right. you know, being a bad dad or causing the end of the world or something like that. <laughs> and it's the scale, which is pretty cool. And then you have this um, this awesome contest that uh, we have going on at Premium Bandai USA 
where it looks like we will have 30 winners and they will each receive all three of these figures, which would be the Ultra Instinct Goku, the Kaoken version, and then the Resurrection Frieza. Yeah, so awesome. make yeah. sure you enter. No purchase yeah. necessary. Can you click on the Bulma bike over there? That's another cool so. one that's coming up pretty soon. Uh, the... I think actually I can't click on the bike. It's oh, only okay. it lets me click on um, Here. our buddy Jackie. That's fine. Yeah, the the Bulma bike uh, or the capsule bike. You know, it doesn't have to be Bulma. Uh, it's uh, it's real cool. It's going to come with a uh, a uh, effect part. It's a it's a kid Goku kind of just like scared out of his mind as he's right in the back of it. So, right. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of a cool accessory to the figure as line. <laughs> Is he wearing, is he wearing like the, the, the blue shirt? Do you remember? That's a fantastic question. I'm not having the sure if he's in the blue or the orange, um, but uh, yeah, that's a good question. But yeah, no, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and head straight to the back, and then we'll come back to the entrance on the other side. So we don't miss anything. You're driving. Yeah. Ooh, there's our... Ah, oh, too far. Too much yeah. too fast. This is, uh, there's our, our new... Exclusives, which there's this nice light shining right on us. But we got the androids, yeah. we got Brawly, we got Goku over there, we have our oh the stands. This is one that was pretty hot when they launched. You can see it's a seven piece set for all seven Dragon Balls. Looks fantastic. And then I think we can get a better look at the on the other side. So I'll save that. Yeah, the stands are super cool. It's a it's a pack of seven, and you get all seven. All seven of the uh, Dragon Stars, and uh, yeah, those are those were very popular. Uh, I won't, I think those may be sold out. If they're not sold out, they're, they're they're definitely almost there. So if you're lucky enough to find them, definitely pick them up. Right. Here's a look at the Imagination Works Son Goku. Uh, this is of course the new one nine scale uh, action figure, where the the joints appear to be a little bit more seamless. Um, got the super baggy pants, um, and this guy is ridiculously articulated and beautifully sculpted. And a lot of folks are very excited to get that guy. Yeah, that's cool. You get the, you're gonna get the, the base form black hair. You're gonna get the super saiyan blonde hair, or gold hair, yellow hair, whatever whatever color hair you want to call it. Right. Uh, and uh, we don't know colors. We're terrible. We get yelled <laughs> at all the time, especially with common red. Yeah, but he uh, he comes with uh, not only uh, optional face plates. He comes with optional like eyes, so you can have them looking different directions. You know, you know, because Goku's always always sizing up his opponent and stuff like that. So you can have him looking one way, or looking the other way, or looking straight ahead. So it ends up being there's like 12, uh, with the eyes, it ends up being like twelve different facial expressions. So uh, it's definitely going to be uh, you know cream of the crop type figure. Absolutely. So we got premium Bandai. Yeah, more premium Bandai. And then there's a, there's a good look at Gohan over here, which is still available. I'm Displayed sure. with spiky hair. He also comes with bowl cut. The bowl cut. Right thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think he Your used to have that haircut. Kid. Yeah, I think any kid who was around in the 80s or 90s, we all had a bowl cut at one point. So. <laughs> yeah. It's just easier to get it done that way. Uh, there's our blue Godzilla. Along with this uh heat ray version and then our new oh i bought it what's that like a like a like a utility closet you put down there right <laughs> what is that is that your doggy yeah she got a new toy and she's deciding <laughs> you know what a good, good place to chew it is right outside when dad's working <laughs> absolutely yeah that one's intense the new one yeah. uh the yeah, launch. Yeah. The launch yeah, he's a he's a scary looking guy <laughs> Yeah, so that guy, he's actually going to come out um, in, I believe, January. It might be January in Japan, then February here in the in the United States. But it's actually a really big deal that we're getting him stateside. And uh, he's got a little switch to turn a little light on. Uh, people are pretty excited about that one. We just revealed him yesterday that we were getting him. Yeah, that's awesome. And Justin's then, favorite, the May Show. The May Show. Love the May Show, which we have on sale right now on bluefinbrands.com. Thank you. Uh, Fifty dollars each. Two for a hundred <laughs> yeah. bucks. Yeah, fantastic. Um, these guys are amazing. The detail on them is so much fun. Um, hoping and praying that one day we can get some sort of anime on these guys. It would be so much fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I broke oh. it. You killed it. Oh no. <laughs> you you blew up the building. I did. <laughs> Hold on. I can get us back there fast. Whoa. I missed this part the first time. <laughs> there we go. And those are the statues that we had at uh, San Diego Comic Con, the uh, the Goku and Vegeta back to back. Right. Back to the May show. Yeah. Vader, you got your 
Troopers. And you know what's funny is I thought this diorama was so cool. We had that little diorama um, live stream the other day. And this is actually just styrofoam and paint. <laughs> There's nothing <laughs> even remotely impressive about it. And uh, I fell in love with it. And Randall was like, it's just styrofoam and paint. Yeah. Hey, don't ruin the illusion for me. Took the wind out of my sails, yeah. And then same with the, these Desert Troopers are always really popular. We, of course, sold out, but people always like these guys. Especially with that the little spyglass. That was just a fun little prop to spruce yeah. that goose. It's, it's like it's amazing. It's just like the little the little flourishes and touches. You know, it's really adds yeah. to it. Uh, here's the, another... The Gita, yeah, from, uh, I apologize. It's all right. It's like uh, all or nothing kind of thing. <laughs> uh, and then there's uh, one that a lot of people are excited about is the uh, Ultra Instinct sign with your blue shirt. Yeah. yeah. These are awesome. And again, uh, if you got these guys last week, uh, then you were going to get them shipped to you in August. Whereas if you got your pre-orders in this week, they will ship out to you in December. Yeah, so they still Of course, available. that's just the, the SHF. Um, any of the other figures, they will ship in, in August. Yeah, the Godzilla and the SHF, uh, Zero. Figure Zero, and the, uh, the Stands. Those will all ship uh, next month in August. Right. Yeah. All right, I don't want to miss any of this stuff. No, nope, like, this is the good stuff. Got the Ginyu Force. Force. I can zoom in. I know everyone's excited about those guys finally coming. The Ginyu comes out first, then Jeece, and then uh, the other ones are, are TBD. TBD, but you're getting them. Yeah. You got launch, slash lunch. Yeah. Tomato, tomato, <laughs> lunch, lunch. Got your Scouter, which we have also available on Bluefin Brands. Dragon Raider. What did I say? Scouter? Yeah, Dragon yeah. Raider, yeah. Well, we all got to play with these at Toy Fair. They're a lot of fun. Then, of course, Raditz. Everyone's excited about him. And then we had the amazing opportunity to reveal Mr. Bardock. Yeah, people lost their minds for, for Bardock. You know, people have been, they've been clamoring for him. And, you know, I know uh, same thing with Raditz. And then this guy, First Form Frieza, you know, everyone's just been really, really just amped to get these figures. And uh, it was it was great people were able to finally, you know, we've known about him for a little while. And every, everyone just commenting on our social platforms and our website. You know, when are we going to get First Form Frieza? When are we going to get Raditz? Right. And it was just so nice to be like, well, you know, there we you just go. want to say, like, just just give it a couple minutes, a couple, a couple of weeks, you know, you'll get it. And then uh, to finally be able to put it out, you know, was uh, was very, very rewarding that uh, the fans were very excited for it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's the statues. Yeah, they were really cool. The statues? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah we those had those at, at uh, New York. Comic Con, I think we had them. Yeah, we had New York, and we had the last year San Diego. Diego. Yeah. If uh, someone, if if, uh, if you go through one of your friends' Instagram feeds that went to San Diego or New York, more than likely they have their picture of that statue. Right. Seen that statue everywhere, all over the internet. And then there's our great ape. Yeah. The Ginyu, Captain Ginyu. Ginyu. Man, Brawl is uh, just you know, ginormous, man. He's like, he's like Ivan Drago. To, to Rocky, <laughs> to like Goku. I must thank you. Yeah, he's terrifying. Yeah, you get the Kaioken uh, Goku with the with the red Tamashii effect part behind him. Uh, it's really cool. It's a great it's a great figure. Captain Ginyu, uh, you know the you know the reviews are starting to, to to creep in on him, and everyone's just calling him like the most posable figure ever. <laughs> just That's the nice. you know because he's got to get into such you know crazy poses like that. You know, bend over and put your head between your legs and like look look backwards right. at somebody. <laughs> right. Gotta that's get a, a piece of candy. Yeah, that's a that's a tricky uh, that's a tricky pose to get into. Ah. Yeah, just so many figure arts. Yeah, lots and lots. It's amazing when you see like you know so many figures from the line. You realize just how how deep the roster is, uh, and but it's also amazing to realize there's just so many more figures to be made still. And you know, I see a lot of people in the comments asking about certain figures and stuff like that. You know, like uh, you know Super Saiyan Four and stuff like that. You know. Uh, you know, we're working on it, you know, getting getting different kind of figures out there, you know. We we can't say which figures we're working on, but, uh, you know, we are definitely striving to, to please the fans. You know, you guys have been amazing and very vocal uh, about, you know, thank you for what you've given us. Now, now how about this? Uh, and so we definitely want to, uh, we definitely enjoy making our fans happy and uh, bringing them what they want. Right. It's not that we 
don't want you to have it. <laughs> there isn't like yeah. a, a maniacal laugh, and we're just like, haha, they will never get it. Um, <laughs> we twirl our mustaches. A lot, a lot of planning, a lot of details go into this stuff, and it's always very exciting when something finally comes through, especially when you've been asking for it for a long time. And then, you know, last weekend, uh, I had everyone on Twitter share their Dragon Ball collections. Um, you know, it didn't matter where they got it, what it was from, um, and people had some really impressive cabinets and, and cases and just boxes, and it was incredible. We saw a lot of really neat stuff. Tried to share every single tweet that came our way so people could just sort of ooh and ah and admire each other's collections, and that's really what it's all about. We're here for the yeah. toys. Yeah, someone was asking uh, when Great Ape Vegeta was going to be hitting. If, you, if you're in the States, um, which I'm assuming you may be since you're on our, on our stream, uh, it should be hitting sometime next month, I believe. So it's, uh, yeah. it's, it should be. It's, the wait is almost here. You know, we would have loved to have got it to you sooner, but uh, we all know what happened in the world the last six months. Right. Slow it down a bit. But it's a good one. And that pretty much concludes our little tour. Nice. Well, Mel, Mel was uh, saying, I wish Bluefin would bring more common Rider figure arts. Well, we're, we're trying. You know, we're, <laughs> we're, 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 we're bringing them with, you know, uh, you know Team Rider. Hopefully, uh, you, you, you're a member of Team Rider. You follow Team Rider US on all social platforms. You know, that's kind of been our mission. You know, Justin and I are members of Team Rider. Uh, we're kind of ancillary members, you know. Uh, David and Ken and Anthony and Steve, you know, they're kind of like the, they're the muscle of the group. We're just kind of like the ones who just talk and talk and talk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ask all the questions. <laughs> yeah. What's this guy? Does what? Um, and so it's just amazing how patient they are to explain, you know, these 40 years of complicated history as we slowly make our way through the series. Um, but that's really their goal. Like, I'm pretty sure that all four of them wake up every morning and they think, how can I get more common Rider? And uh, I'm always amazed with what they do because, you know, they, you know, we had the big Heisei week a couple weeks ago. You know, they, we were able to broker, bro broker with, you know, Toei in Japan, and we got Woes, the actor who played Woes, to sign a belt, and we gave it away, and it was just this amazing experience, and he recorded a message for Americans, you know, saying, welcome to Common Rider America, you know, thank you Team Rider, and uh, thank you to all the fans in America, uh, and it's just, it's just been great. Yeah, and then we found out that James Gunn is a Common Rider fan, which was great. Yeah, he tweeted <laughs> at us, and we're like, <laughs> we all had like the same reaction, like, hey, James Gunn just tweeted at us about Common Rider, <laughs> and we're like, what? Yeah, no. Where are we in? I was so excited. We were so excited. We tweeted back. We actually wrote "common rotor" instead of "rider." I didn't but, even notice that. Yeah, I fixed it. I changed it. It was probably your mistake. It, it was 100 percent my oh, mistake. Okay. I was just so excited. I, was say, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> no, that was my trouble. Like, -da 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 -da. Let's see. What uh, are you going to? Are you going to have more figures in premium Bandai US? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think you know the model has been pretty successful. You know, people who anyone. You know, really, at this point, anyone who wants Vegito or who wants Samasu or Gohan or any of the exclusive figure rights from the event, you know, they've been able to, to get them. You know, it's uh, it's really made it easier. You know, you no longer have to, like, wonder, like, is my local store going to carry this? You know, it's just literally click on Premium Banda USA, add to your cart, you know, and uh, and win. I mean, so it, it's, it's it's really that easy. Some figures, not all figures will go through Premium Bandai. You know, uh, we'll still have the normal channels of figures, you know, like Captain Ginyu and... You know, Grady Vegeta, you know, those ones are going through the normal channels. But, you know, Premium Bandai is, is, is proving to be, you know, something that the fans are, you know, sometimes frustrated with. I know we had a little problem last Thursday, uh, but, you know, for the most part, you know, these figures, you know, you're able to get, you know, whenever you want. Right. Absolutely. And it's the, the like Tom Petty said it best, the waiting is the hardest part, right? <laughs> it's yeah. like, yay, I clicked it, I get it, and now I just got to wait a couple months. And that's sad, but uh, at least we it's another another notch in the belt. We're able to, to get more figures. Yeah. Carmack Hunter asks, uh, when will the exclusives of this year's Comic-Con ship? Uh, if you're referring to the Tamashi ones, uh, if you purchased uh, the figure arts, the monster arts, or the stands, uh, those will all ship in August next month. For the figure arts, if you purchased them last week during the Thursday and Friday offerings, those will also ship in August. Uh, if you're purchasing on the most recent wave uh, that started on Wednesday, those are going, or I think it was Tuesday. Tuesday. Those, those are going to ship in December. Those are, those are going to be a special run, uh, just to, you know, accommodate. You know, there was such a great demand for these figures. You know, we were blown away with how many people wanted them. That you know, they're, they're doing additional, additional quantities of them. Right. And that was a, that was definitely an interesting experiment because, like, you know, normally we get to take these guys to different convention stops on a tour, and they sell over the course of you know three, four days. 
and then in this case the entire country wanted them and everyone clicked at once and the world exploded <laughs> yeah i mean there's a big difference between 500 people in line and you know whatever 50,000 people all clicking shop right now so that uh, definitely ended the the collector world for, for a little bit it was scary right but it wouldn't be comic con if you didn't have to wait two hours to refigure it right exactly <laughs> that's just the, the nature of the beast right yeah oh, man. let's see i just got my white metal fixed figuration gundam wing from you guys keep up the awesome distribution yeah that's i hope that's that snow white there's no white yeah yeah that's Ooh. finally getting in people's hands uh yeah. that was supposed to be a july release and we got it in july thank goodness uh i think the first person that uh, that got one at least publicly uh hit us up on twitter and we we i retweeted it right then and there and everyone's like oh my god they're in the mail <laughs> this is so exciting i'm finally gonna get my snow white so that's really exciting stuff yeah people started uh, texting or uh, tweeting out their like order confirmation like shipping notice because when you order something from us <laughs> right. you, know, you get an email when it ships and they're like oh my god it's coming i got my tracking number this is happening <laughs> oh totally those fixed figure <laughs> fixed figuration uh figures are awesome I have uh, two different Zakus and love them to death. Yeah. One of them signed by Tomino son. That's true. Thank you very much. Got a red and a green. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's like Christmas. Easy people. Um, yeah, so I mean, that that's, uh, looks like that's, you know, a lot of questions just asking, like, you know, for specific figures and stuff like that. You know, we will, we'll, the instant we're allowed to tell you, you know, they give us the time we're able to do it, and like I'm literally looking at my watch at the second hand, and the second it hits that exact moment, I'm clicking the, the tweet or you know, Justin's clicking the you know, send button or something like that. Yeah, you know, so we're making sure that you know it's instant we could talk about it, and we're talking about it. And so because our just our fervor for it, you know, we're usually before Japan, right? You know, just because they're you know they may not be as on it as we are. The the only exception to that is when it's like um, P Bandai releases. Um, rather than give you the complete list all at once, I I do have sort of a, a Dr. Evil sense where I get to tease one at a time, and, and that's a lot of fun. <laughs> so uh, you can yell at me for that one. I, that's that's 100% me with the, with the teases on the P-Bandai releases. And um, I, I'm sorry that I make you wait, but there's no theater in getting it all at once. i gotta got to make it a spectacle, as it were. Right. And it was fun. You made a spectacle the last one talking about how you wanted to go talk at the water cooler and you wanted to go get <laughs> yeah. lunch and stuff like that. And I all know. Of a was like, oh my God, we're getting cooler and we're getting launch. And it was, it was co total coincidence. You were getting launch. But <laughs> it was, he was, Justin was talking about Gundam, the Gumpla figure arts or the Gumpla uh, premium Bandai. He wasn't talking about figure arts, but everyone is to the community is just a full of detectives and just people just like, they, they've caught on that. We're trying to be cute and coy with stuff. And they're like, Oh, I know there's a hidden message here. Justin, I know. he wouldn't uh, that was that was 100% a coincidence. I found out which those figures were um, like two hours before we posted them. Um, so believe it or not, that was 100% a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah, Mel has a great question. He's like, have you ever considered doing online orders and booth pickups for next year's San Diego Comic-Con like Mattel does? Helps prevent frustration in fire marshals at the booth. Fire marshals at the booth is definitely always a problem. I've never seen the fire marshal, but I've heard him. I think that uh, he must just be like the boogeyman of San Diego Comic Con, but yeah, it's definitely something that you know. Every year we try to figure out what's the best experience for the fans and the customers when it comes to getting these items. You know, we don't sit around and be like, "Oh, how can we make this as most most difficult as possible?" Uh, so yeah, we do try things. Uh, you know, last year we tried the ticketing system and we learned a lot from that. But definitely having people pre-order them and pick them up at the booth is something we're incredibly interested in. Uh, that's how Japan does it a lot for their exclusives. Is you buy it ahead of time. I, I watched it happen. It was the most amazing organized thing. You know, they bring in their barcode, they go to section one, they scan it, it prints out a receipt, they go to section two, they hand them their receipt, they give them their figures, and they leave. Uh, so if, if we could replicate that, I think that would definitely be uh, what we want to do. Sure. I think real estate and and population are a problem <laughs> inside of the convention center, though. Yeah, and we're against that back wall, so it feels like we should have all this extra room so you can like line up. But uh, but the boogeyman, I mean the fire marshal, <laughs> doesn't you know, exist. He sends his minions out. Um, Chris Cooper has a really important question. He says, "Why does David get all the figures and Justin doesn't?" Oh man, I'm the new guy still. I went into the, <laughs> the, the the real answer is I went into the office and just grabbed them. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I love yeah, post to work. You have that amazing table. That makes it a lot easier. 
had all this all this room. You you have the Mortal Kombat. You have the video game machine thing, and you don't have room. You, you don't have room for this. That's true. <laughs> it's all scam. Yeah. Uh, that guy says, I like the lottery system, took a lot of weight off my shoulders. Yeah, we, we, we definitely tried. Um, and what was what worked last year was, you know, we realized that the lottery system was a lot of people just enter the lottery system just to enter it. Uh, so at a certain point throughout the day, we just released it to the general public. It was usually like 2 or 3 o'clock. Uh, so we kind of did a hybrid last year. Um, we really didn't even get far enough this year to even figure out what we were going to do this year because it got canceled so soon. Uh, but next year, yeah, we'll definitely have some form of plan because... Judging by all the orders that we've gotten on the Tamashi items this year, you know, we'll definitely need to put something in effect because there's definitely a, a hunger and a yearning. Right. Yeah, it is always interesting to see how many people don't show up at their respective time slots when it comes to that sort of thing. And there's always a reason. Um, you know, the, the if you've ever been to San Diego Comic Con and you're just trying to move 30 feet, it might might take you a few minutes to do so. It is it is brutal. Right, someone went a little closer look at Optimus, as Justin would call him. That is not we find, Optimus. We find the light here. That is regular Optimus. <laughs> right in the light there. Blinded by the light. I thought you said a closer look. I, well, I didn't want to put him in the light. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's super nice. You know, it's a model kit, but you know, it, it's super articulated. You know, you have all the all the joints, all the swivels, um, and yeah, just a really cool figure, or a really cool model. There you go. Let's see if I can get it on here while it's spinning. Oh, no. It's easy to put when it's not spinning. There you go. See how many rotations that makes it. Can you can you bring that Brawly up close with the camera? Yeah, absolutely. This is like one of my favorites. I just love how ginormous it is. It's like the He's... ultimate paperweight. If you, if you work in a windy office, nothing will fly off your desk with this guy. Yeah, he is a big end. Yeah, super detailed. You can see all the lines in there, just how... Got the chiseled abs. Got an atlas body. <laughs> took some took some pills. Got some I wish pills. I could pose them like that. <laughs> I know, right? Doesn't work that way. And Juan wouldn't yell at me as much. And there is Vegito. And Vegito actually comes with an alternate face. He's got he's got his grimacing face and he has a yelling face. Yeah. They yell a lot in Dragon Ball. There is a bit of yelling. There's, the, there's a bit of power. There's a bit of power up. And then, do you want to bring the Godzilla as well? Yeah. And you can play with the tail and show how articulated it is. Sure. Here is the king of the monsters. You know, he's got a nice, a real nice blue color to him. And yeah, the tail is just, you know, each each section has a bit of articulation, so you can have it go straight. You can have it go left. Right up. I guess you could go down if you were if you were flying, but it doesn't really work to go down, you know. And uh, I don't know if my camera can pick it up there. You know, you got the nice color variants, you know, going down the spine. You know, so it really looks like he's powering up, and uh, he's just a real fun figure. He comes with, like I said, uh, the blast effect, so that uh, his atomic breath, so we can shoot it out. Right. You Come. swap out his jaw, right? That's how it works, and yeah. then it fits inside. Comes in an awesome box. The box is super cool. Um, that's one of the things with the Tamashii Thusa. They always come in cool boxes, you know. Right. I've had Brawly out there in the box the whole time. I thought, hey, let's bust him out this for the stream. But I mean, the Brawly box is huge. But yeah, it's got real cool art. You know, it's got the nice, nice color. Big window if you are someone who doesn't want to take it out of the box. It definitely looks cooler out though. Right. Yeah, uh, the two of us, we like to take all of our toys out of the box. <laughs> it's sad when they can't breathe in there. Breaks my but heart. I've learned that not everyone wants to do that as I got in trouble at New York Comic Con. <laughs> yeah. I realize some people will just want to keep it in there and stuff like that, which is totally fine. Oh, wait. They're all available to be bathtub toys. Rubber duckies Elliot. of all sorts. <laughs> Elliot Barron has Justin's favorite question. Any plans to bring Premium Bandai Shop available to Canadians? So... At this time, there's nothing to report. It is something that is brought up very frequently by myself and Justin. You know, we we hear and appreciate all of our Canadian brethren, and it's something that uh, we have been trying to get going for a long time. And I understand that's frustrating when you see all the uh, the cool stuff that the Americans are getting. Uh, but know that Justin and myself are definitely in your corner, as well as most people at Bluefin. But you know, even though 
we love Canadians and we feel like your brothers. It is still a different country. And so there are, there's a lot of red tape involved. So it is red tape we're working to, to dissolve, but unfortunately I wish I had better news. When it does happen, no one will be happier than Justin and myself. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a jubilation and I'm going to celebrate and it's going to be a big party and I cannot wait for that day to happen. Yeah. Clayton says it's Broly, not Broly. Broly. Yeah. Tomato. I usually say Broly, but... Tomato, tomato, potato, <laughs> potato. <laughs> for all you people say tomato. <laughs> uh, since those are taken out of the package, can I get those used at a... Can I get those at a used price? <laughs> <laughs> like your style. Wheeling and dealing. Yeah. No. <laughs> you, can buy, you can buy them brand new. There you go. And then you can take you can have the pleasure of taking it out of the box yourself. Right. Get that whiff of plastic. It's amazing. Yeah. Get that whiff. You have that real like tentative, like like slow opening up. You're like, I don't want to mess this up. It's got yeah, a nice exactly. clamshell. And you know, we joke about it, but like that that probably is pretty big and one of the reasons why I I never got it at a convention, uh, like any like previous version, was just because I never want to throw it on a plane because I didn't know what to do with it. It's just too big and the very idea of getting it shipped to you you are the the battle's over the, the hard part's done. <coughs> all you get to do is play with it now yeah you get to pose it you know uh it's funny jared who works at uh, bandit amphil with us uh he was on a live stream he's his whole house is just just shelves of these just amazing collectibles and stuff like that and, you know uh, he we were talking about like do you rotate out do you cycle things through and we we're talking about the amazing and stuff and uh that's half the fun is you know every couple months just going through and you basically just rearrange your collection it's like you got a whole new Right. Yeah, a whole new hobby. <laughs> yeah. You find something that you bought like 20 years ago and it's still in the box. Like, well, now I got to open it. <laughs> I'm going to ruin it. I'm going to open it. I'm going to play with it and see what it's all about. Uh, Chris Cooper asks, how will this Comic-Con experience influence future Comic-Cons with Bluefin? Um, you know, we're definitely learning a lot, you know, doing this event digitally. Um, so, you know, maybe a uh, future Comic-Con will have a bigger digital component for people who can't attend the shows. Uh, but that is future David and future Justin's problem. Right. <laughs> I mean, um, but... I, I definitely like the idea of how we just took that tour through the Tamashi booth. Like, in, in my perfect world, it is uh, people go to Comic-Con and they enjoy themselves and have a good time. Those, those people that, that can't attend can stroll through the virtual booth, pick up something, and when it says, like, do you want to know more, maybe you can even shop and click and buy it. Like, that's, that's my perfect Comic-Con where it's like a virtual ticket, basically, where you're... You're there even though you're not, and you can take advantage of, of all the cool stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to get. And that is, uh, I don't want to say it's a pipe dream. I mean, we literally just took a, a virtual tour today, and it's 2020, so who knows? I, it's, it's, that is my end goal, though, is to bring the Comic-Con convention to you at home, where you could literally just shop through a virtual store, and it'd be amazing. Pick it up, look around. That would be even cooler if we could have picked up those SH figure arts. And, and did like a 360 rotation, uh, see everything that it comes with, and then ultimately say, yes, I want to buy it. That is, uh, that is the, the Jetson world that I want to live in. Yeah. Henry G asks, any word for New York Comic Con? Uh, you know, we're waiting like you guys. We don't know. You know, the show hasn't been canceled yet. So, but, you know, with the state of the world, you know, you, you know that's only, what, a, couple months a, half, away. a little over two and a half months away. Yeah, it's like 75 you know, days away or something. Yeah, a lot of stuff would have to change, you know, in order to make it, you know, safe for, you know, 150,000 people to gather in a small space. Uh, so, yeah, so right now, yeah, there's nothing, nothing planned, nothing concrete that we can announce for New York Comic Con. Uh, hopefully, you know, we'll know more uh, as the event comes a little bit closer. But we will obviously have some form of presence for New York Comic Con, whether it's a digital event like this um, or if. I would be very grateful if, you know, things th things fixed themselves and we were able to be there in person. Uh, but, you know, we are on the West Coast and it's on the East Coast. It's a five-hour plane ride. And, uh, you know, that's not the best place to be right now. Doesn't got real quiet. I don't. Um, I'm waiting for the questions. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, looking at it online isn't as fun as pressing up to the glass and seeing it in person. I definitely agree with you on that one. It's uh, And one of the cool things we did at San Diego Comic-Con last year was for the Gundam Universe figures uh, and the Meisho figures, uh, we actually had like a touch and try to where you know we had someone that was at the booth who had like the full wave of Gundam Universe 1 and 2, and he had, you know, a couple of Meishos. I think we had 3PO because he was the newest Meisho at the time. Uh, and just to let people kind of play with them to see if they liked them. Um, 
I think that there's something visceral to be had with the with, you know, when you touch a toy. There's a very tactile moment when you put it in your hand and you feel the weight and you feel just how everything moves and interacts with each other. And you know, it's something that pictures can get you excited for, but it's not until really you, you grab onto that toy and you you play with it that you really know that you love it or not. Yeah, that's the way I was with Common Rider. I didn't even know what it was, and I got my hands on a belt, and it starts screaming at me in Japanese. And I'm like, this is the greatest toy ever! And, uh, I mean, within a week, I had acquired four different drivers. <laughs> it, was, it was nuts. It was like an addiction. And I hadn't even seen a single, a single episode yet. And I was just like, I don't care. These are the greatest toys ever. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely fun. Uh, hey, that guy wants to know, uh, Justin, what's your, what's your favorite, what was your favorite toy growing up? My favorite toy growing up? Mm -hmm. um, I was a sucker for play sets. And um, I don't know if you ever remember the old cartoon Mask, but um, I had the Boulder Hill play set uh, with He-Man. I had uh, Snake Mountain and Castle Grayskull. Uh, for me, it was all about play sets. And um, I could just, it didn't matter. I would, I would mix and match IPs. And, and I wouldn't get in trouble as a little child. <laughs> but when I would have, like, He-Man and G.I. Joe beating the hell out of each other, it was always a lot of fun. Uh, but play sets were my jam. What about you, Dave? Did you have a crown jewel? So, yes, I never got it. I always wanted the Voltron. I never got Voltron. I was sad about it. Um, you know, if you had Voltron as a kid, you were the cool kid. Um, but I, I remember I just had a ton of, ton of G.I. Joe, a ton of, ton of Star Wars. Uh, I remember just playing in my backyard. I, I had one really big Tonka dump truck, and I remember just all of our shenanigans with action figures ended up involving that Tonka dump, tr dump truck. Like, we'd have Darth Vader driving it or something like that. <laughs> no matter where we were, that dump truck was involved somehow. <laughs> and uh, uh, it was just a lot of fun. And then um, I was a sucker for, like, G.I. Joe vehicles and stuff like that, especially the, the Cobra vehicles because they were much cooler than the Joe's yeah, vehicles. that's true. Um, but, yeah, I remember... You know, getting my Rattler tank, or my his tank, and, and you know the, the Rattler jet and stuff like that, and just, just having a blast. Yeah, and then they had the yeah the, the jet, the wings popped up. Um, yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, He Man had really cool vehicles too. Um, they had a lot of noise making ones too. They had like that the little green lizard looking thing that had a zip cord that you would pull. Then there was like that one thing that was like a giant reptile head that would move forward and then swing around and then move forward and swing around. They had a lot of really cool stuff. The architecture alone in He-Man was, was pretty rad. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> <laughs> For all you He-Man enthusiasts out there. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the USS Flag. Speaking of which, um, you know, we were talking about uh, that Sentinel the other day that uh, HasLab is doing, and uh, it's gorgeous, it's amazing. If you're into, like, the Legends figures, then you have to have one of these Sentinels, right? And, um, like, to me, that's, that's like having the USS Flag. Just this giant thing that you don't even know what to do with and, yeah. and it's cool that you have it and you want the whole neighborhood to come and check it out but uh it's just where do you put that thing yeah carlos is asking will vegeto and zamasu still ship in november uh yeah as of right now that's the plan um there has not been any kind of delay as far as shipping goes uh pre-orders for both of them close august i believe either second or third uh so they close in you know just over a week i guess so make sure that if you are interested and you haven't pre-ordered uh, zamasu uh, or Vegito, and remember Zamasu is a U.S. exclusive. The only way to get it is through U.S. Or premium band U.S. Uh, you know, make sure you get those orders in the next week uh, because you know, unlike Gumpla, usually figures don't get a second print. Right. Uh, and then Mel brings up an interesting point too, where uh, it's so weird but awesome to see Bluefin products in locations like Walgreens. Uh, same with Target. Uh, it's pretty cool to just now that they have like these little specialty sections. You know. Um, to just get some model kits or, or Gundam stuff or, or Dragon Ball figures. It's just awesome. Love that. Although, uh, when I walk, I gotta admit, when I walk into a Target and like that section's messy, I'm just like straightening up a little bit. <laughs> As a former <laughs> manager of a Target, I'm like, I'm zoning this. I'm gonna make this look nice. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Uh, Carlos also said, uh, Gohan and Jeez are, uh, are pre Bandai exclusives, right? Yeah, for the US, they are premium Bandai US exclusives. So the only way to get them in the United States is through premium Bandai USA. Um, other regions have other things. <laughs> we're, we're the U.S. guys. Right. Uh, let's see. For non creator what is the current term, turnaround out of curiosity? Uh, if you're talking about things you order off of bluefinbrands.com, um, if they're non creator items, uh, you know, we're, we have a, an army of people trying to get all the orders out. Uh, you know, we, we are 
grateful that so many people uh, took part in our sales. So it may be a little delayed, but yeah, it's a, a couple days, you know, is what we're shooting for. There will be people working there, uh, you know, over the weekends. Any other questions? No, I think that is it. It was a very good chat. It was awesome chatting with everybody. It was uh, yeah. Thank you so much for your questions. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. Um, you know, and, we, and uh, if you ever see us at conventions, if they ever come back, you know that we can talk to people all day long. So <laughs> we're happy to talk <laughs> toys and collectibles. Yeah, you see us at convention. There's you, there's probably a good chance that one of us has a box nearby of of goodies to give away. So you know, right. <laughs> never hurts to say a nice thing and. Uh, you know, maybe ask. <laughs> right. Well, we'll get yelled well, at later, but that's okay. Yeah, it's that's fine. Okay. We, we get, we'll do it for you guys. Right. <laughs> that's how I know I'm working hard when I get scolded. Yeah. That means you're doing the right thing for the people. <laughs> right. For the people that matter. Um, oh, that's a lot of but, fun. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys for joining us for the stream. Uh, we just wanted to take you guys on a quick virtual tour of the Tamashi Nations experience. You know, uh, definitely feel free to go to machinations.com to do the, the walkthrough on your own. Take some time going through it. And, you know, like Justin was saying, you can click on individual things. They'll open other windows to give you more information. Um, but, you know, this was just kind of a, a quick in and out uh, just to kind of show you what it was. So just to recap, remember the exclusives for San Diego Comic-Con. You can, you can see them all at bluefinbrands.com slash SDCC uh, or follow at Bluefin Brands on all social platforms. You know, we have links in all of those descriptions. Uh, running through them, you know, we'll start let, We'll start my left to right, which I think is your right to my left. Everything's backwards on this thing. Uh, you know, we have the Monster Arts Godzilla, the the amazing, it's, it's like fast and like a beam of light right I now. I see that, it's shiny. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even planned. Uh, you know, he's available, uh, he's incredible. The two figure art zeros, the Broly, the Broly uh, and the Vegito. Uh, they're just awesome statues. They're also available. As far as figure arts go, we have Android 17, Android 18, and Goku Ultra Instinct Sign, uh, all still available for purchase on PremiumBind.USA. Uh, right in the middle, we got Optimus Prime. You know, I don't know what else we could say about this guy. He's incredible. He's nice. It's a nice, clear model. Super fun to put together. Comes in a collectible tin where the uh, the front has a translucent Autobot Matrix of Leadership. Motorcycle, really loud. Yeah. He's showing off. He's got a room room. Uh, and then uh, last but not least, we have two Bandai America exclusives. The final battle, Perfect Cell versus Goku and the Dragon Stars Broly. Uh, so yeah, bluefinbrands.com slash SDCC or at bluefinbrands uh, is where you'll get all the information. And, uh, you know, definitely we'd love to be interactive on our social platforms, whether it be at Bluefin Brands or at Tomashi Nations. You know, always hit us up. You know, we're always happy to chat with fans. Yeah. Even at like, I don't know, last night it was like midnight. <laughs> I'm just like, oh yeah, why not? <laughs> always having a good time. So, yeah. yes, absolutely. Don't forget to follow us at Bluefin Brands on all social channels. Um, we love talking to you and hearing from you. And, and always send us pictures. If you get something and you build it and you want to share it, send it our way and we'll share it with the world. Absolutely <laughs> we love doing that stuff. Yeah, and be proud of your collection. You know, you don't have to have 4,000 figures to be proud of your collection. You can have well, you can have a Godzilla or you can have a figure <laughs> right. art zero. I mean, and that, that, you know, that's a collection right there, you know. You know, you may hopefully you'll want to build because build on the collection because you love it. But you know, if, if that's what you have and you love, like I posed this Godzilla the best day I ever thought I could do. You know, definitely share it. It's a <laughs> Send lot of fun. it on our way. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your Comic Con at home. Take care, guys. <laughs>